Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria and I'm the girl behind the blog, Sweet Life Housewife. Today we're going to be talking about one of the trendiest things in fashion right now, white sneakers. And interestingly, I was trying to find the most comfortable white sneakers. I have a couple of issues going on with my feet. And so I was looking for the most comfortable white sneakers to wear. I'm not only you know doing things around town, but also, if I was on vacation, I would like to wear a white sneaker that goes with everything for traveling by day. And I was having trouble finding a video on the most comfortable, so I decided to make my own. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. I have Echo, Sperry, Adidas. I have two Adidas, actually, to show you. And the Skechers concept. I chose these because of the way that they look and there's a few different defining characteristics of each. Okay, so let's start off talking about the Echo sneakers. These are the soft, they're leather, and uh, they obviously, I think these are all lace up, and these um, are very popular. They're really um, on the more expensive side. Um, these are, I think, $160. I'll have everything linked below, and pricing will obviously be available there. These have an insert that does come out. I um, have high arches, but a lot of times I like to put different um, supports in. But these actually say on there that they're a Danish design. They have um, the perforations. So I can see how these are really good at um, keeping your feet dry and comfortable. Um, I did not find these the most comfortable of the ones that I sampled. Um, so I don't think that I'm going to be keeping, I know I'm not going to be keeping these. I also noticed that the color, although these are white, um, like if you compare them to, for instance, the Adidas, they're not quite as bright white. And I liked um, the more white color. There's others that are in that same white category. These are a little off-white, which I could see the benefits of that, but I just, in this particular case, I wanted the um, most comfortable. If these were the most comfortable, maybe that would be it. But anyway, uh, moving right along, they were a little kind of hard feeling to me. So that was my note on that one. So the next one, we'll put this one on top, are the Sperry's. And these are very comfortable. Um, these you really don't wanna wear a sock with, and they're but they're canvas. Um, I think they're vegan. And well, I'm not sure this, le this um, tie might be leather, but you don't have to tie them, they're slip on and these were also very comfortable, um, squishy insole, and it doesn't come out, um, so I couldn't put a um, different one in, but it's supposed to be moisture wicking, and it's very squishy. So these actually were very comfortable, and I am um, considering keeping these, even though it was I wanted a sneaker that I could wear a sock with, and I can't wear a sock with these, I tried but they were very comfortable and we do have a boat. These are kind of like boat shoes. And so I'm kind of considering keeping these um, just because I really fell in love with them <laughs> unexpectedly. Now, let's skip ahead to the Skechers because I want to compare my older Adidas to the newer Adidas here. So the Skechers are not leather, which is fine. I like, I prefer to buy a lot of vegan stuff anyway. So these are um, that same optic white. They have um, a breathable side, which was attractive to me because my feet get really hot and sweaty. <laughs> so these are um, the lace up, and these were a memory foam inside. It's really comfortable. I don't think that this insole comes out, so that was a problem for me because I like to put arch supports and I have really high arches. But these were probably right up there with the Sperry's, really the most comfortable initially um, with the sole that comes inside. And interestingly, both of them, you can't take the insole out on the most comfortable shoes that, um, from the inside perspective on your bottom of your feet. Comfort is subjective. Um, I have, a t like my toes are, are okay, so the toe box part is good. But where this stitching is, I have a wide part of my foot right there and I have a bunion on one side, kind of a, a starter of a bunion anyway, on one of my feet. And so, believe it or not, on both sides, I find this area of the, sh of the sneakers to be tight on me. So that's gonna be an issue um, for me finding the perfect shoe. If that's not a problem for you, these all probably would be very comfortable. They also have a pretty wide toe box. 
but um, I loved the kind of shiny, almost patent leather look of this one. They're not leather, but they have the leather look, and they were really comfortable, and they do have a nice tread, too. So if this book came out where I could put an art support, I was con contemplating keeping these. It's probably the best value of the whole bunch. These were only $36, and they're really cute. So, now moving on. The Adidas. Um, these were my old ones, and these were the ones that I ordered. I was not unhappy with these. They're really cute. I love that they have black and white, so I could um, wear them with a beige purse, a white purse, or a black purse. But um, this, these here, they're a little bit dirtier, which is kind of the style. That's a whole other thing. But this part up here where I have some sensitivities on my feet um, it was bothersome. And although it has the perforation on one side, it does not have it on the side where I've, like, where I experienced the discomfort. So this part here doesn't have as much give as like this this part on this one does. See, so this one's a lot more flexible, and where I have my trouble spots, it's also wider at that part of the. It's the widest part of this sneaker or tennis shoe. Um, so these have a um, cloud foam. Um, cloud foam liner and that was really comfortable because I have the high arches I actually was able to take the cloud foam one out and I put in a Dr. Scholl's and so you, I get the arch support and they fit in here because um, sometimes you have trouble fitting your supports in without a bigger size so these were size 7 and with a size 7 um, Dr. Dr. Scholl's arch support um, and insert these still fit and were the most comfortable. So these are the ones that I'm going to keep. I'm not gonna get rid of these other ones because I do still like them, but um, for walking around and things, this these are definitely the most comfortable. And the tongue, um, if you notice from the Echo, and look at this tongue on these Adidas, um, this tongue is much easier to slip these on. Cause I like, even if I'm having them tied, I still like to slip them on. So the Echo did not do that. The Sperry's did slip on, slip on. Um, but my old Adidas, that tongue was too short, and so I could slip it on, but it was kind of problematic. It kind of got in the way when I would be like slipping it on. So I do love that about these. And I kind of was comparing all of these because I'm trying to replace my Nike running shoes because I always wear these when we travel, and they're the most comfortable. They have like this mesh part here, and I have actual orthotic in support of my arches and stuff when I'm running and things like that. So whenever we walk a lot in, you know, on a trip, like in London or something, we could, um, or Portugal, wherever we are, we could really easily get over 20,000 steps. So I like these because they um, are specifically for my foot, but they also fit into this Adidas. This is the Adidas Advantage. These are not leather. They are PU leather upper which is like a polyurethane. Um, I don't know that they're vegan. They might be mixed with leather, but Adidas is a very sustainable brand. They have a lot of um, stuff that I was reading about that they are very sustainable. So I love these um, not only for comfort, but they fit all of my little issues, and I just think they're super cute and modern. That's the other thing is I wanted something that looked a little bit more. I think these look more just modern than these do um, for what's in fashion right now. So that was my pick in any case. So one thing to note also is that the P448 and also the Golden Goose sneakers are both supposed to be comfortable, especially the P448. They range, I think, between like 150 to 250, 280 maybe in price range. And the Golden Goose are more like between four and $600. But I've heard mixed reviews on the Golden Goose. They have sort of like a wedge insert that's included in them. And I've heard that socks aren't comfortable. I like to wear socks. They both are a little bit more of the distressed look. And I was looking for something a little bit more clean that I could wear and, you know, kind of have a more elevated look to my outfit with a nice clean um, shoe, sneaker, tennis shoe, uh, whatever you like to call them. Comfort and comfort was a huge issue for me. And so I'm still not 
completely ruling out the P448s, but I haven't found any that were like a really kind of clean looking base shoe. So if I find that, then I might try those too because they are supposed to be comfortable as well. Also for me, because my feet get really hot and they um, tend to sweat, I like to wear a nice moisture wicking sock inside of my sneakers or shoes, tennis shoes, so that I don't ruin the sneakers and um, just feel like, you know, I can keep them fresh that way. So I do prefer tennis shoes, except for those fairies. Um, those I would not wear socks with. And I feel like they have like an antimicrobial and um, moisture wicking insert that's really comfortable. So I don't feel like I need the extra um, sock or the padding. Like a lot of my socks have like a little bit of extra padding um, for running and stuff like that. And so when I'm walking a lot, I like to wear those same type of socks. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you didn't, but I hope you liked it. If you did, please think about subscribing to my channel and thanks for stopping by.